Well, the moment we've been waiting for is almost here. And to crown the new Miss Texas USA, it's again my privilege to present Texas' first Miss Universe. No, not in a farewell walk, but as a celebration of a great reign that's just begun. Here again is Chelsea Smith. Finding the words to say to all of the people who have helped to make my life so special is hard to do. For those of you who know me well, know that I rarely have a loss of words. I would like to first thank God for giving me the strength and guidance that I have needed. To my family, thank you for all the support and love that you have given me throughout my life. Never forget how much I love each of you. A special thank you to Al, Gail, Smitty, sponsors, and everyone who works with the Miss Texas USA staff for giving me the chance to represent this wonderful state. Thank you, South Padre Island, for being so hospitable to me and to all delegates you have hosted. You all hold a special place in my heart. To the Blair family, thank you for the laughter and everything you have done for me. To my fiancé, Kelly Blair, you are my best friend, and though we may not see each other very much this year, always know that I support everything you do, and that the saying holds true, I will always love you. And last but not least, to my successor, winning this title is glamorous and will truly make you feel like a queen, but also know that it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and true inner beauty. This is not a farewell, but just an opportunity to thank all of you for supporting me and to let you know that I will continue to need your love and support this year as I continue my reign as Miss Universe. God bless and peace, Chelsea. And again, our warmest congratulations, Chelsea, for the way you've represented the great state of Texas, the pageant, and of course, yourself throughout the year. Thanks again to our judges and to our auditors for the nearly impossible task that they performed tonight. I always like to say, if I am able to MC a beauty pageant, that I'm glad I'm not a judge. It is so much easier to be up here than to be down there and making the decisions with so much at stake for these young ladies, with all the parents, families in the audience, the news media here, six million or more Texans watching from across the state. It's a special moment. It's a special moment for these ladies, and it's one, obviously, that they'll never forget. And I think that's true for all 136 girls who've had such a special time on South Padre Island for the last eight days. Some of them have formed friendships that are going to go on the rest of their lives. You always hear about contestants in Miss Texas USA becoming pen pals. They become visitors in each other's homes. They become lifetime friends. And really, when you get down to it, that's what it's all about for this pageant. There's 135 girls up here who are not going to become the new Miss Texas USA. For them, what's the motivation? What's it all about? Well, they've improved their self-confidence tonight. You know that's true. They're already winners just to be here tonight. A little drama. Shall I report that news, sir? We have a tie to break. And that is why our friendly stage manager is asking me to stretch. To stretch in front of you and to, well, to six million of you out there. Lord, I'm stretching as much as I can. I've already given you my best 90 seconds, though. The auditors are doing their work. The judges are giving them a slip. And the five beautiful finalists are right behind me. There's Elizabeth Sturgeon, Miss Houston, Amanda Little, Miss North Texas, Wendy Hayes, Miss Liberty County, Tara Williams, Miss Harris County. And Miss Laurel Heights, Lisa Damon. Probably you've already picked out your own winner, but the judges have not. Their job is so difficult. <laughs> so difficult that the ballots have been passed down the row again. But I think the last one's being picked up now. Of course, that means they're going to have to be tabulated. Again, and there they go back to our auditors. 
Now, they're using the old math for this. I mean, there's no computer over there. This is all longhand, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Let me ask you girls another question or so while we're, while we're waiting, because this is your pageant, it's not mine. Elizabeth, you're going to Baylor this fall, and you're knocking around the rest of the time. Obviously, you're not able to hold a summer job right now, or else you couldn't be here. Not, not that you couldn't, but you're not. Actually, I had a job. I worked at a florist, and uh, pageants do take a lot of time, I and mean, they are hard work, and uh, you have to really get prepared for them. So I wasn't able to hold a job, but hopefully as soon as this is over, um, I'll be able to get a part-time job. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe you'll be busy for the next year, okay? <laughs> Amanda? I haven't had a chance to spend much time up in North Texas lately. What have I been missing? Oh, goodness. Um, well, yeah, you, you missed me getting ready for this pageant, which, as my family knows, and every mall in, in North Texas knows, we've been there a lot. <laughs> I think we've been in every store about six times the last uh, few weeks, <laughs> getting ready and getting a lot of last-minute things. Wendy, who's out here who's, uh, who's special to you tonight, right here in this audience? Well, of course, that would be my mother. She has stood by me through everything, and I do mean everything. Where are you, Mom? <laughs> Waving, okay, very good. <laughs> And um, she has been the driving force behind me, and I'm very proud of her. I'm probably more proud of her than she is of me. Oh, I'm not sure if that's true. <laughs> Tara, Miss Harris County, who do you have out here tonight? I have my family, and they've been absolutely wonderful. They've supported me all the way, and I love them very much. Let's suppose that you, you didn't become Miss Texas U.S. Uh, they've turned in the scores. Don't worry about what you're saying now, because it has absolutely <laughs> of no importance. Just drop whatever pretense is still left out here on the stage and tell me what you're going to do with your life if, if you're not Miss Texas USA. Well, I'll, I'll be at Houston Baptist again in the fall. I'll just continue on with my education. That's, that's something that's so important to me, and I'll continue to do that. It is an excellent school. I've had a chance to teach there the last couple of years at Houston Baptist. And Lisa Damon, who are you waving to here? You can make, you can make it a big wave, a pageant wave. Who are you waving to in the second row? Some very good friends of mine who are here. <laughs> I just heard the best words all night. Dan, we're ready. Are you ready? All right. Thank you very much, sir. Well, here it is. At last. Ladies and gentlemen, for the title of Miss Texas USA 1996, our fourth runner-up is Miss North Texas Amanda Little. Our third runner-up, Miss Liberty County Wendy Hayes. second runner-up. It's Miss Laurel Heights, Lisa Davis. <laughs> Miss Houston, Elizabeth Sturgeon, Miss Harris County, Kara Williams. In just a few seconds, one of you will be named our first runner-up. To the others goes the title of Miss Texas USA 1996, along with all of the great prizes. The new Ford Mustang from your Texas Ford dealers. The full-length mink coat from Sackowitz Furs. The trip to the Cayman Islands. And just as Chelsea had, you'll have the opportunity to become our new Miss USA. Perhaps even Miss Universe. And the Miss USA pageant, by the way, will be held right here in this convention center in South Padre Island next February. All right, folks. The first runner-up is... Oh, it's time for me to remind you... You should have known that was coming. I need to remind you that if the new Miss Texas USA, for any reason, cannot fulfill her crown, her duties, her honor, well then, it's the duty, honor, and pleasure of our first runner-up to serve as our new Miss Texas USA. All right, are we ready? 
The first runner-up is Miss Houston Elizabeth Sturgeon. And you, Tara Williams, Miss Harris Howdy. I allow our Miss Texas USA. The runway is yours, Tara. Take your first walk for us as Miss Texas USA, 1996. Your moment, your final test. Destiny beckons, you never reckoned. Second best, this is your day. Just see it shine when all you your new Ford Mustang sports car. I think it's a red one. If you can put it into words, Tara, tell me how it feels to be our new Miss Texas USA. I'm shaking so much. I can't say anything. <laughs> it's, it's great. I know you'll have plenty to say when you get your composure. I understand. Believe me, I understand, everyone. This is Dan O'Rourke. For our new Miss Texas USA, formerly Miss Harris County, Tara Williams, and on behalf of Crystal Productions and the entire city of South Padre Island, thank you very much, good night, and we'll see you again next year.